Hello. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to paint this mountainside cabin. It's a tutorial I found on YouTube. I'll put a link below. We start using a pencil. This allows you to do a lot of erasing, get the picture to where you want it. Then we uh, pen right over it with this indelible ink that um, you're able to watercolor right on top of this ink and it doesn't smudge. I'm going to put on a fence and some barbed wire and another tr tree up here and a little grass and put in some rocks. Just keep the drawing very loose and kind of rough. Now we're going to start with a yellow wash and a blue wash and we're going to go for a nice sunset. I'll get a little pink put in there now. Now we're going to mix up some blue and we're going to paint the mountain in the background. Put wet on wet and pretty cool how the watercolor paint just when it dries it, it leaves you all kinds of variations, a lot of detail. Now we're putting some grass, some soil to go with it and we're gonna put some paint on the trees. We're gonna start with a light green, hit the grass with a couple different shades of green. Now we're going to mix some blue paint and brown paint. It gives us a gray paint. We're going to paint the rocks and the sidewalks. A uh, little the shadowing on the house on the side and under the eaves. And we're going to go in with some brown paint. Put it on the roof of the cabin. Also going to touch the fence posts up with some brown paint. That was a little beige paint on the house. I'm going to throw in a few more shadows here and there and some darker green to kind of offset. Now that, that roof was a little light so we went in and added some more brown paint to that. Now I'm going with the pen and touch up on some details, put a little bit of grass here and there. I do not like that rock up by the house, it just doesn't look so well. The, the sky was a little light so I touched it up with another coat of blue. I'm going to try to get the value to be somewhat near the mountain. I, I touched the sky up with some paper towel, gives it a cloud effect. Okay, there goes that rock. I just scraped it off with a razor blade and made a little pile of rocks. Right, so I'm going to sign it. Remove the tape around the border. This automatically elevates the picture, makes it kind of look like it's in a frame. And we're going to look at it a little more closer. You see all the detail. It's, a, it's the wonder of watercolor, how these colors, you put them down, they blend, and they give you all kinds of uh, different grades of the color. It's kind of a simple sky, like a swept sky. Again, the mountain shows kind of a lot of detail. Trees are painted another with the jadeite green. That's my favorite green, right from jade. All right, again, this is a very loose painting. You can, you can see all the detail just from a few strokes. Under the eaves of that building is quite a lot of detail. So give it a try. This is a very easy way to paint. You can help me grow my page by subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, or leaving a comment. Thanks.